Hey everyone, how's it going? I hope you're enjoying your night. Tonight, I've got another important video in store, so this is 127. And this poem is based on an old fellow that I made from during the original days of TNA wrestling. He had a sick finisher that was so sick that a lot of people praised it very much. And this was the first time that a front flip and a pile driver was formed together. Yeah, who says you couldn't form those two together and it became a sick finisher that no one will ever forget. So yeah, today's um, poem, for tonight's poem video, 127 is brought is here to present a new poem that is based on a finisher that was owned by original TNA fellow, Maple Leaf Muscle himself, P.D. Williams. And I hope you guys enjoy this poem as I read it to you all. This poem is based on the name of his finisher that it was so sick that a lot of people praised it. Like I said, praised it all the time. Even I loved it because it was a finisher that was formed into a into a finisher with a pile driver and a front foot together. So allow me to read you this poem. The name of this poem that's based on TNA original photos P. Williams finisher is called Canadian Destroyer, which is the name of his finisher called the Canadian Destroyer. So let me read this poem. Canadian Destroyer. Petey Williams is Canada's exceeding guard when it comes to the ring, working hard. He has a sick finisher that comes to rise, the best one to always advise. The Canadian Destroyer is a move you have never seen. I remember it, I remember it so much as a team. A front flip pile driver that sends you to the ground while the crowd makes in a roaring sound. P. Williams has the best finisher no one can hate. A sick one that was ever to create. The wrestling fans praise the finisher every year. You notice something new that comes with his gear. P. D. has brought smiles and amazement to his fans when he hits his finishing move to any lad. The Canadian Destroyer will never fade. Memories of the sick finisher will live on in the decade. Hold on a sec. Alright my friends, I'm going to show you the picture of original TNA fellow from back in the good old days of TNA wrestling. I give to you no other than Maple Leaf Muscle himself, the, Cana the owner of the Canadian Destroyer, Mr. Penny Williams. Yep, this was him back in the old days of TNA wrestling, when TNA was being built from the ground up. You can see underneath, I put his two nicknames, Mr. Maple Leaf Muscle, and the Canadian Destroyer. Yeah, the Canadian Destroyer was not only the name of his finisher, but it was also his nickname because he was part of Team Canada, a tag team stable back in the old days of TNA wrestling. A Maple Leaf Muscle was his second nickname as he moved on to winning titles in his, during his time in TNA wrestling. He's held the exhibition title before a few times. So yeah, this, yeah. He's and then held numerous titles in his career. So, this is Maple Leaf Muscle and the owner of the Canadian Destroyer, also known as the Canadian Destroyer, Mr. P.D. Williams. I hope you guys enjoyed this poem video. This was 127. I want to say thank you for your time. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to keep showing this picture so you guys can see. You can look at it, look at, look at it for yourselves. If you see it moving a little bit, it's because I got the AC on. But don't worry about it. So there you have it, my friends. That was the poem based that was the poem called The Canadian Destroyer, based on TNA original fellow P. Williams finisher from back in the old days of TNA wrestling. I hope you enjoyed this. This was a very good poem to write. Even though I typed it up on my laptop, it was still good to type it up as always, so 
I hope you guys enjoyed this point video. This was from 27th. Feel free to watch it again if you ever want to. I say thank you for your time. Thank you for today. Thank you for your time with tonight's video. And I hope to see you guys the next time I'm making that point video. So take care and enjoy the rest of your evening.